In the previous video I sometimes mentioned strong rejections of either higher or lower prices and in this video I would like to cover those rejections more in depth because those rejections are also a very important part of the price action analysis. The first part of the video will be a bit theoretical and then we jump into the charts where I'll show you some practical examples. So let's get to it. And first I'll speak about rejections of lower prices. Rejection of lower prices means that the price is going downwards pretty strongly, pretty aggressively. And then it suddenly turns and goes upwards. There is aggressive rejection of lower prices. What this means in trading is that sellers are aggressively pushing the price downwards and then the price hits some support and strong buyers start jumping very aggressively in the market and they start pushing the price in the opposite direction. In this case, they start pushing the price aggressively upwards. So this is basically what sharp rejection of lower prices is. It is sellers aggressively pushing the price downwards and then buyers entering the market and pushing the price in the opposite direction. Very similar to that, only reversed, is the rejection of higher prices. What that means is that strong buyers are aggressively pushing the price upwards, then aggressive and strong sellers take over and the higher prices get rejected aggressively and the price goes downwards fast like this. All right, there needs to be the sharp rejection and the rejection like this shows aggressivity of sellers. All right, so when you see a rejection of higher prices, then it indicates aggressivity of strong sellers. Apart from the aggressivity of the sellers or buyers, the strong rejection can also tell us or indicate when trend is likely to be over or temporarily over. So when there is, for example, an uptrend and then there is aggressive rejection of higher prices, this is the aggressive rejection, then it is likely that the trend has ended or temporarily ended and there is likely to be a rotation or sell off. On the other hand, if there is a strong downtrend and then there is an aggressive rejection of lower prices, uh, then it could mean that the downtrend is temporarily over and there will be a rotation or there could be a complete reversal and an uptrend, all right? Change of trend. So always look for rejections like that if you are trading within a trend, all right? Another case where you will see the rejections, the sharp rejections, is in balanced market. It usually happens when the price is moving inside of its price section, there are strong rejections of lower prices and higher prices within the rotation, like this. All right, so those are rejections of higher prices and those are rejections of lower prices. And when those rejections go against each other, which means that there are either rejections of higher prices and rejections of lower prices, then the market is usually balanced and it is moving sideways. All right, which means that there is a temporary balance between buyers and sellers. A good strategy in the balanced market is to trade from those rejections back into the rotation, which means you are taking shorts from the rejections of higher prices and you are taking longs from the rejections of lower prices. All right, so those are the rejections in a balanced market. Now, the rejections are very useful when you trade the support becoming a resistance setup or the resistance becoming support setup. When the price is aggressively rejecting, for example, the higher prices, like this, those are 
two strong and aggressive rejections of higher prices, all right? So when the price is rejecting higher prices like this, and then the price shoots past those rejections, past the line the price was rejecting, then the line, which previously worked as a resistance, changes into a support. So what you do is you just wait for the price to make it back to the support and you enter a long trade from there. All right, so this is how you trade the resistance becoming support setup. A reversed case would be if the price was rejecting aggressively lower prices, some lower price, and then shooting past it, then the price level which got rejected in those two areas turns from support to resistance. So when the price makes it back to this level, you go short. It is the same as the previous case, only reversed. All right, so uh, this is another way how you can use the aggressive rejections of lower or higher prices. So uh, here is the little summary of the formations and of the rejections and how you can use the rejections in your real trading. So uh, this is how the rejection of lower prices looks like. This is strong buyers rejecting lower prices, which is a sign of aggressive buyers. This is how rejection of higher prices looks like. It marks aggressive sellers rejecting higher prices. This is how balanced market looks like. And when you see rejections of lower prices and higher prices, then the market is balanced and there is a temporary balance between buyers and sellers and the market is moving in sideways price action. Now this is how support which becomes resistance looks like. As you can see, this given price level was support, then the price went past it, it became a resistance. All right, so support becomes a resistance. And the last one, is the same one only reversed. The price is rejecting aggressively some given price level. There are sharp rejections of this price level. And when the price shoots past this level, then this level becomes a support. All right, so this is resistance, which becomes a support. So those are basically the five formations of the rejections, which I look for in my price action analysis. All right, so uh, that's for the theory and uh, let's now have a look at the charts. Uh, let's have a look how to use those in real trading. So uh, let's now have a look at the charts and how to implement the rejections in a real trading into real charts. Uh, this is the euro dollar 30 minute chart. So let's start with this one. As you can see, there was a strong selling activity right there. And afterwards, after the downtrend, you can see that there was a strong rejection of lower prices, which could indicate that the downtrend is temporarily over. All right, rotation. The trend is temporarily over. Then you can see that there was another rejection of higher prices and there was also rejection of lower prices in here. So this is basically the balanced sideways price action. Then as you can see, the selling activity continued and then after this selling activity, there was a rejection of lower prices, aggressive rejection of lower prices, which indicates that the downtrend could be over and there could be a rotation or a change of trend. As you can see, there was a change of trend after the rejection. And then there was also a change of trend, but I don't really see any aggressive rejection in this area. So there was the downtrend right here, the downtrend. And afterwards, aggressive rejection of lower prices in here. So this could mean either start of rotation or change of trend. 
right now it looks like a balanced area. So most likely the price will be rotating now because the strength of the buyers and sellers is balanced. All right. No more trends in this area, only rejections of higher prices, lower prices, rejection of higher prices, rejection of lower prices. This is the balanced area, all right? And then again, you can see that there is a rejection of lower prices in here, pretty sharp one, but this time it starts a trend, all right? So this indicates aggressive buyers rejecting lower prices, starting an uptrend. All right, the next rejections are in here, which could mean that the uptrend could be temporarily over. All right, sideways price action. Trend is temporarily over. The first sign were those two rejections of higher prices indicating aggressivity of the sellers. Basically sellers jumping aggressively against the uptrend, all right? So let's see what happens next. So aggressive rejection of lower prices. This is a sign of strong buyers entering the market. And if you compare this rejection to those two, then this one is definitely stronger. So let's have a look at what happens next. All right, aggressive buyers pushing the price upwards from this rejection. So uh, buyers rejected the lower prices and pushed the price upwards. What's also worth pointing out is that there were some rejections of higher prices in here and the price went past them. So if I draw a line, somewhere in this area, then the line should work as a support. As you can see, it was a strong resistance zone. The price was bouncing aggressively downwards from it, those three rejections. And when the price went past it and made some rotation above it, then it became a support. All right, you can see how the price reacts nicely to this support this reaction from here. All right. So if we go back into the rejections, you can see that right now there are rejections of higher prices, rejections of lower prices, rejection of higher prices. So this is an area with temporary balance. This is a rotation area. And the first sign that there will be a rotation area or a change of trend was this rejection of higher prices because the price was going upwards and then in here aggressive sellers took over and there was some aggressive selling activity so the sellers didn't really want the price to go higher that's why they aggressively rejected it all right there's more of this balanced area as you can see there are more rejections aggressive rejections as it is quite common for balanced areas. More rotation. Uh, and remember from the previous video which I made, the longer the rotation, the higher chance of a trend, all right? So this is a pretty long rotation. This is a week long rotation. And in case like that, there usually occurs a trend after such a rotation. Okay, so volatility is higher now. And as you can see, the price is again bouncing from the level where the strong rejections of higher prices were. There were more of them. So uh, let me move the chart like this. Rejection of higher prices in here. All those rejections 
basically reject the same price level, this one. So uh, it was a strong resistance zone. And when the price went past it and there was some rotation above uh, this resistance zone, then it became a support. So now you can expect a reaction from it. Right? In here, nice reaction to the support. So what happens next is that there is this very aggressive selling rejection, rejection of higher prices, which indicates aggressivity of sellers. This is a strong rejection of higher prices. And again, very strong rejection of higher prices in here. So we have two rejections of higher prices, both really strong, really nicely visible in the charts. And those are signs of aggressive sellers. If you look in this area, in the rotation area, then you can see that the sellers are more aggressive than the buyers. There is not such strong rejection of lower prices as those two rejections of higher prices, all right? So it seems that the sellers are more aggressive in this area. So the next thing that happens is a sell-off and you could actually predict such sell-off because of those rejections which are a sign of strong sellers. If you look into this area then you can see that there was a rejection of lower prices which as I said could mean beginning of a rotation or a temporary end to a trend. As you can see there was a rotation but afterwards the price just went past uh, the rejection, which is again a sign of strong sellers, because when the price just went past a rejection like this, then clearly the sellers are strong in this area because they were able to push through rejection, through place with strong buyers, all right? Then you can see uh, the price went into rotation. It reacted to uh, this rotation in here. There was a nice reaction to this rotation. And then another aggressive sell-off. All right, so um, this is how you can read the charts using the strong rejections. Let me now skip into one more chart. Let me show you that this analysis also works with uh, different time frames and different trading instruments. So well, let's jump into a weekly time frame and let's have a look at the crude oil. All right, so this is the crude oil a weekly chart. Let's start in here in 2011. As you can see, there was a very long rotation and there was a balance between sellers and the buyers. As you can see, the sellers were aggressively rejecting the higher prices and the buyers were defending the lower prices. So this is exactly what I was talking about when I was showing you the balanced market, all right? So what happened next is what usually happens after a long sideways price action or after a market which is balanced for too long, there is a trend. There is a trend development. After the trend, there was first rejection of all prices. Still, the trend continued and there was another rejection of lower prices. And after such rejections, usually the trend is over at least for a moment and there could be a rotation or change of a trend. As you can see in this case, there was a rotation. Then the rotation continued for a while and afterwards uptrend started. This uptrend. And again, as you can see, there were three signs that the uptrend is ending. Three strong and aggressive rejections of higher prices. Signs of aggressivity of the sellers who are rejecting the higher prices. 
then change of trend. After that, after the trend, rejection of lower prices, which means, as I said, change of trend or start of rotation. In this case, you can see that it is a start of a trend. All right, so that's for the rejections. And uh, there are also two nice cases of the resistance becoming support. So in here, you can see massive rejections of lower prices, rejecting this price level. Then the price went past it, making the support a resistance. And this is exactly where the price turned. All right, so um, this is another way how you can use the rejections. And by the way, quite recently, let me zoom it a bit. Rejections of lower prices, which means that this was a strong support. And when the price went past it, the support became a resistance. And now we can have a look where the price is turning. All right, very simple setup, but very effective. And that's basically how I read the charts using the strong rejections of higher or lower prices. It doesn't really matter which trading instrument you use or which time frame you use, the logic is still the same. You will be able to see all those patterns in all trading instruments and on all time frames. It takes a bit of practice, but it really pays off. And along with the rotation versus the trend, which I covered in previous video, this is also an essential part in the price action analysis, which I always do uh, when I analyze the charts. And I do all this before I start using the volume profile. All right, so that's for this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.